Hello, and welcome to another This Month in Data Dog. My name is Jeremy, and I'm the Director of Technical Community and Open Source. As always, we'll update you on our latest features, product announcements, events, and more. We have a ton in store for you this episode, starting with highlights from the Dash keynote. And now, This Month in Data Dog, November 2021. I'm thrilled to announce network device monitoring. With visibility into your network infrastructure alongside the applications that communicate across it, teams can now move even more quickly to isolate where an issue may be occurring, no matter how large their environment. I'm excited to announce that you can have ubiquitous immediate visibility into the health of all of your backend services without changing a single line of code or redeploying your applications. We call it universal service monitoring and it's based on the eBPF Linux technology that guarantees security and low overhead. Datadog's database monitoring product, DBM, streamlines collaboration between developers, SREs, and database administrators, and everyone else who relies on a database by consolidating all of your key database telemetry into a single view. Session replay is a video-like replay of exactly what your users are experiencing. You are now able to see and feel what happened alongside all the views, errors, logs, and all the technical information that comes along with a user session in Datadog Real User Monitoring. Online Archives is a new storage and query tier for Datadog log management that fits between indexing and external archives. With Online Archives, you retain all of your logs fully searchable for 15 months at a fraction of the cost of hot indexes. We're so excited to launch Datadog apps. Apps will provide you with the external actions, visualizations, and context that you need right inside of Datadog. You can now blend the Datadog platform with other applications to achieve simple and straightforward workflows. With CI Visibility, we have productized these best practices into a new product, enabling access to the cutting edge CI tooling seen in the highest performing engineering organizations around the world. Datadog Cloud Cost Management gives FinOps teams, finance, and engineering unprecedented visibility into cloud costs. With just a few clicks, Datadog starts ingesting your cloud cost data, transforms it into easy to query metrics, and enriches it with the observability data you're already sending to the platform. This month in the spotlight, I'm joined by Natalie Altman, a member of our product team. Thanks for joining us, Natalie. Thanks for having me. Excellent. So can you tell us a little bit about your role at Datadog? So I'm a product manager at Datadog, and I work on our network device monitoring product, which is a product that I'm really excited to be having just announced at Dash. Um, my job involves me working with all parts of our company to build and sell a great product to our customers. So during the Dash keynote, we announced network device monitoring. Can you tell us a little bit more about NDM and what sort of opportunities this brings for new and existing Datadog customers? Yeah, so network device monitoring is a product that helps network engineers gain visibility into their bare metal infrastructure and troubleshoot problems along the way of the equipment itself. So solving saturation and, and determining where saturation issues may be occurring or drops in a firewall all the way through any piece of the equipment that they may, may be maintaining. So that all sounds really, really interesting. One thing that I'm curious about is what's next? So I think from the short term and the long term, we see two different areas. The first is just making sure that we're providing this really deep visibility into the network, especially for since these are new teams, we want to give them all the visibility that they need. Um, along the sort of longer term, what we're really excited about is being able to support our customers in a way that we've never been able to support them before. So being able to have that application layer visibility alongside the network bare metal visibility all in one place allows us to really be able to look into where does uh, network latency occur along the way and create this really complete vision of the health of a network and how data passes from one point to the next. Oh, that sounds really, really interesting. Uh, Natalie, thank you for joining us in this month in Datadog. And if I encourage all viewers to check out Network Device Monitoring. Thanks for having me. As always, one of the main features of Dash are technical sessions from our community of customers where they share stories of speed, scalability, security, and more. 
This month in the Water Bowl, Cecilia shares some of the highlights. Hello, I'm Cecilia, and I'm on the community team here at Datadog. Last month at Dash, we had the opportunity to hear talks from the Datadog community. Jacob D'Onofrio and Fred Moyer from Zendesk shared with us how they used customer-specific SLOs to create a more realistic picture of their customer's experience. Specifically, how they adopted a methodology of measuring request performance using latency bands. Janet Kenmotsu and Alex Munda from HashiCorp gave us an overview of how they scaled HashiCorp Cloud Platform's concurrent data plane infrastructure provisioning by 300%, and how they used Datadog to discover bottlenecks along the way. Nathan Case and Eric Lopez from Resilience spoke about how security strategies evolve alongside shifting organizational structures. They discussed how they found visibility quickly during mergers and acquisitions. Toli Apostolides from Cinch explained how his team moved to a serverless architecture and shifted towards an observability mindset, which informed their approach towards migration. Jonathan Jaffe from Lemonade presented his security team's automated level one security remediations. He showed us how his team uses Torque and Datadog to automate incident responses to website attacks, phishing, and more. Jeff Vallejo from Dutchie talked about using observability as a shared language in a rapidly growing organization, allowing engineers to coordinate across organizational boundaries. Guillermo Xavier from Klarna told us about how his team designed and implemented their new code to customer delivery platform, and how having an observability first mindset helps teams deliver new features without compromising on security or velocity. Vandana Verma from SNCC talked about OWASP and open source security and showed us how to use open source tooling to find and mitigate potential threats. We also heard roundtable discussions from a wide variety of panelists with topics like building diverse DevOps teams, chaos engineering, software supply chain security, and more. We are so thankful to everyone who participated. We had a great time and we hope to see you again next year. Thanks, Cecilia. And that wraps up this month's episode. If you have a question, comment, or suggestion for a future episode, comment below or email us. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for future episodes of This Month in Datadog. We'll see you next month.